Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how to add more of the new 1.18 M79 grenade launcher that you can see here, more of the 40mm ammo that goes in the grenade launcher and also the Claymore mine as well. So how do we do this? Well, loot in your uh, server is controlled by your types.xml file. So we need to get hold of that first. So this is a Nitrado PlayStation server. So you go into your web interface, wait for that to load, go into your file browser, and then go into your uh, missions folder. On PC, it's a little, it's a few uh, directories down, but it's PS missions on PlayStation, XB missions on Xbox. And then uh, if it's Chernerus, it'll be a Chern so say daisyoffline.chernerus. If it's a Livonia server, it'll say Enoch. And you go in there, and then you want to go into the DB directory. And then in here, you will find the types.xml, this, this stuff, um, file here. Now, you can edit it live uh, on the web. Highly recommend you download it, though. Download it to your downloads folder on, uh, on your computer, then copy it into a working folder, and then open it in a text editor. I use Notepad++. Because it makes it very easy to see mistakes. Because when we're editing uh, any type of XML file, if you do something like miss out a bracket, um, it, it will ruin the whole thing. Um, and uh, Notepad Plus makes that easier to find. So first off, let's add some more M79. So Control F, let's find M79, and that will take us straight to here. You may have to watch this at full screen to see it, since I've upgraded my computer. So. Here's the M79 entry. So there's only ever three of them on a normal vanilla server, which isn't very many at all. Now they're counted in the map, you can see there. So as someone picks one up, more will spawn in. Um, its category is weapon and its usage is military and its value is unique. Now, at the time of recording this video, there's a little bit of a debate about what that means in terms of spawning. The unique um, area identifier that you can excuse me that you can see in the CE tool the central economy tool if you, if you use that it's only a few small parts of the map um, there is some people tend to think unique also means uh, it will spawn on the new train crashes but not quite sure so what I would probably do is I would add another uh, value here if I wanted to to make it easier to find it and make more of them I would say um, put here we go I would do something like this. I would copy these values here. And I would have tier uh, 3 and tier 4. Okay, so what that means now is the M79 will be found uh, in the northwest of the map um, and around Tizzy and military areas. Tier 3 and tier 4, they're kind of northwest of Chernerus. If this was Livonia, these would be the south. So that's going to do that. But there's no point doing that without increasing the number. So let's put in, say, um, 20 let's really max it up put a minimum of 15 so now if we were to save that and then re-upload it to our server on top of the other one and then restart it we would end up with 20 M79 spawning in in military locations on tier 3 and tier 4 locations um, and unique locations there as well nice and easy um, now next thing is the Ammunition. Let's go back to the top, and the ammunition is called 40 millimeters. So if we do do a search for 40 millimeter, find all in current document, and we get here. We say we've got the chem gas, uh, the explosive grenade, and all the others. So let's start off with the chem gas. So here we go. Ammo 40 mil chem gas. As you can see, um, what's interesting here is it's only found in the contaminated area, which will be um, by Riffy. You know in the ship and then down by that base on the south coast that i always forget the name of so if you wanted people to find more of them in different places you would probably go um i would say copy the explosion so maybe do value here we go. so value is tier four so now the chem gas grenades the, the chem gas ammunition for the m79 will spawn in contaminated areas and in tier four which is northwest of chernerus we say we wanted to increase them, so put that up to 10, that to 7, and it's only found in players. Again, you would then save that and then upload the file into, over the top of your existing types of XML, restart your server, and they would start firing it. Uh, uh, more of them would start spawning in. Um, so explosive, so we go down to explosive. So here we can see the 40mm explosive, only eight of them spawn in, 
the minimum of five. Now, these are found in different places, so military locations, tier three, tier four, and unique. So they're found in quite a few different places, so you may well just want to... Excuse me, got a bit of a gas today. Um, increase those to sort of 12 and 8 um, and then you can go through there's the smoke grenades blacks and just remember you increase the nominal and then you increase the minimum um, these ones they're found in military locations so where there isn't a tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 or unique that means they'll be found in any military locations now funnily enough though that can actually make them quite difficult to find because that's all the military locations spread across the entire map um, so there's nothing wrong with adding more smoke black smoke green and smoke red and smoke white and that's all you've got to do just increase those hit save now whenever we're adding things to our servers you should really think hard about taking stuff away so go look at the clothes that you that are never used and take some of those away and don't go mad you know I would only consider you know going from say 15 to maybe 30 of the smoke black or go from 15 to 25 don't be putting values in like a hundred because all that happens is you get to a point where your server stops working um, in terms of the usability of the server because people will wander around and they'll just find the same thing everywhere and eventually the, the central loot economy just stops working completely and uh, and, and nothing will spawn in so d don't go a maximum thing to do is probably to double things you know, if you double things, as long as you take other stuff away, you're okay. But don't go absolutely mad. Don't do like 50 times loot or anything like that. So that's the M79 and its ammunition. So the next thing we said was the Claymore, wasn't it? So just go to the top, Control F, Claymore. There we go. There's the Claymore mine. So there's only four of them. Uh, will spawn at any one time as pip as players pick them up more will spawn in and then there was two so again you might want to change that to say 10 change that to five now they're found in military locations on tier three tier four and in the unique military location so they're found in quite a few places so i probably wouldn't play around with that i think that's more than enough um, and there we go so again you would save that upload it over the top of your resisting types that xml restart your server and then uh, these things will start to spawn in um, and there we go so that my friends is how you add more of the m79 launcher its ammunition and the claim more mines hopefully you found that video useful if you have it like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i will of course see you again soon